This is a USB flash drive, also called a jump drive. In this two-part video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer files from one computer to the jump drive to another computer. In the second part of the video, I'm going to show you how you can synchronize files from your flash drive to your computer so the files are always the same. The first thing you have to do is put this into your computer. Now when I put the USB drive into my computer, it's going to pop up with the screen, and at the top it says it's the Kingston E drive. Uh, most USB drives are going to be called the E drive or maybe the F drive. Um, there are different options that I can select from. Mostly you're going to use the open folder to view files. When I select on this, um, I already have a few files on this USB drive, and so you're going to see these. I'll change this to um, thumbnails here. So I've got my two different views. I've got a picture and a... Um, uh, website that I was working on. Um, and I'll, I'm going to move this over to the side here. And there are two different ways that you can save to this drive. Actually, there's three different ways, and I'll try and show you those here. Um, the first way is a simple just save as. I have a Word document that I'm working on, and I can go to File, Save As, and I can change uh, the direction to the Kingston E drive. I'll save it as the same name. I'll go to Save and that's it it's to the that drive another thing i can do is i can go to start my documents and i can find a file that i'm working on that i want to move over um, here's this trivia night folder i can uh... I'll open this up and here are some of the uh... notes that i had for my trivia night i can simply just click this and drag this over to this folder and you'll see that it pops up over here. Another way that I can do it, if I have these questions and answers, I can actually right click on this and it has a send to and then it should say send to Kingston E drive. That way if you actually don't have to open up the USB drive, you can if you plug it in, you can just do the right click send to. Um, I can also show you that I can just take an entire folder and move the folder over and it'll keep all the files that are inside that folder. Now I'm going to um, take this out of, of my one computer and put it in the other computer and transfer those files. Now I'm on my other computer, and when I plug the USB drive in, it asks the same question. What do I want to do uh, with this? And again, I want to um, open to view files, and it should bring up the different files that I have. And you can see all the files that I was working with from the other computer. I can double-click on uh, the bio, and that will open up Microsoft Word, and I can just continue working on this. And if I make a change to it, then... I could just simply press save and it will save it to that USB drive. Then I can take the USB drive back to the computer that I was working on and, and it stayed there. Um, another thing that I can do is go back to start my documents and open up the two screens and then I could just take one of the um, pictures or one of the, the icons I have here and drag it over to my, my documents. And that's basically what you're going to do is by mostly just dragging back and forth or opening up. Uh, go to uh, my videos and you can watch uh, the second part of this video. I'm going to show how to synchronize files so you don't lose track of which one is the newest file and which one needs to be replaced. It'll synchronize all of them to easily manage all of your files.